Hey guys, my name is Tom Bryant and welcome to this particular channel. Um, we are going to be doing some Samsung NX videos. A lot of you have asked, in particular you Samsung NX lovers out there, have asked for an NX Mini, what it looks like on the NX-M adapter, and I'm very excited to bring that to you today. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully it, it all works out. I am not a video camera guy by any stretch of the imagination. I am primarily a stills photographer, so if something isn't quite working or the focusing isn't quite right, um, you will probably see that in this video, but I wanted to bring this to you directly because a lot of you people are asking, and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm a huge NX uh, Samsung camera guy. I have been ever since the first ad I've ever seen on National Geographic, way, way back. So. Anyway, for what it's worth, hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, click that like button as well and subscribe because we're going to be doing more of these videos as we go along. I'm going to show you the entire collection of Samsung NX cameras that I have and uh, we'll have some fun with it together. So follow along and enjoy. This is the Samsung NX Mini. It is a 20.3 megapixel camera with a one-end sensor. And what I love about it is just how tiny it is. You can see my hand and the palm, just how small it actually is. It is absolutely an amazing camera. At the top, you can see it's got the power button. It has uh, the shutter and also the mobile link button. But also, in the back here, I'm not going to turn it on because I don't have a lens attached, but you can see it has the menu button and the mode button, display, autofocus, um, just all different, all the buttons you need, and of course the record button as well. So again, NX Mini, incredibly small, absolutely incredible compact camera. I sincerely love it. So let's take a look uh, of what the adapter looks like. This is the Samsung NX-M adapter. You can see it has the connectors here for the autofocus and all the other attributes you need for manual and automatic exposures and the same thing here as well. This is, in my mind, one of the most sought after accessory pieces of any NX camera brand because I can attach any NX lens, regular APS-C size lens, to my one and censored NX Mini and I love it. You can see here, this has a quarter inch thread. So if the lens in particular is too heavy for the actual body itself, which by the way, most lenses are, that is where you would make a tripod attachment or a monopod attachment or a gimbal attachment. Best way to do it. Fantastic adapter and I'll show you why. And this guy is the Samsung NX 50-150. to 150. Absolutely a massive, massive lens. It has the eye function button of course, the auto to manual focus. It's got full custom and set focal ranges as well and also the optical image stabilization. In my mind, it's one of the best tellies that I own for the actual Samsung NX brand, and it is just tack sharp. Now, I'm loving this lens. Let's see what it looks like on the NX Mini. And here is the Samsung NX 50-150 with the NX Mini and NX-M adapter. Absolutely fantastic combination but look how awkward that looks that is just insanely awkward and you know what I absolutely love it it's just such a fun combination to play with so I have the NX mini of course 50 to 150 2.8 absolutely compact device here huge device here beautiful adapter now <laughs> obviously this would not is not what I would call a pocketable device not even by any stretch of the imagination but I can definitely say you could throw this in a backpack. Of course, you would definitely throw this in a backpack and it would come out beautifully. So what I would say about this is backpack it, bring some lenses with you, with the adapter, you're going to love it. One quick tip too that I'm going to be giving you as we go along, we're gonna show you the sharpness of this particular lens. We're gonna show you the dynamic range due to the one-inch sensor, what kind of crop factor it has as well and the image quality overall. So let's take a look. This is not gonna be a highly technical video. But this is gonna be something that hopefully you'll continue to enjoy. All right, <laughs> you're still with me, this is good. OK, 
Okay, so here I want to give you some handheld video with the NX Mini. I'm on optical image stabilization, shooting this right now. I think it looks pretty good. Not too bad, I'm getting some pretty decent focus, I think. Again, all handheld, handheld mode. My arms are in close to my body. Try to keep it as stable as I possibly can. Let me see if I can zoom out for you. There is some rolling shutter, obviously, which is what I had expected. Let's see, zooming out. I'm trying to go as slow as I can. Looks pretty good, guys. I'm pretty happy with it. Let me just go over here. I'm gonna do a little more panning. This is with my body. Not too bad. There is some kind of difficult rolling shutter I see. And I apologize about the wind, guys. I did not bring my dead cat with me, which kind of stinks. <laughs> so I didn't bring anything to cut down on the, on the wind. I apologize. But yeah, this looks pretty good. I am uh, pretty happy with what I see here. Yeah, not, oh, wait a minute. Not focusing now. There we go, not too bad. <laughs> So in general, guys, the dynamic range is actually pretty good. You can see I'm actually focusing here uh, on that pole, but behind it is the waterfall. And the waterfall would be incredibly washed out by now. It is in bright, bright sunlight. I did stop it down about a quarter, a quarter of a stop, which is not too bad. Uh, but you can see the shadows and highlights are replicating really nicely for a one-inch sensor. I am incredibly impressed with the dynamic range of this one-inch sensor. Now, of course, it's not going to be as good as a full frame or APS-C sized sensor, and we'll show you that in a minute. But again, the replication of this is really, really nice. And again, hand holding it, not too bad for, op for a single optical image stabilized lens. So here you can see the differences in zoom. This is the 50 to 150 that I've been using with the NX300 right now. So it's an APS-C size sensor. You can see the zoom range is definitely totally different, but guess what? I can also tell that there is a dynamic range difference as well. I can certainly see a difference, um, but of course it may just be the way I'm exposing everything. But I do feel as though the dynamic range is pretty, is pretty good in both, honestly. I, I'm really splitting hairs, I believe I'm splitting hairs in terms of dynamic range regarding the, uh, the one inch sensor and the APS-C size sensor. Now, the crop factor is 1.7 times, so you will get almost a 2x crop factor, which is probably what you've seen so far. Dynamic range though, holds up excellent on both the APS-C and the NX Mini with the adapter. Okay guys, well, we are gonna do some focusing testing here. Again, I am doing it handheld, uh, nothing too special, but I am gonna to try to do some differences in focusing to show you just how quickly it focuses in video at the very least. So here, if I tap there, focus pretty closely. Back there, tapping, again, in focus. It's relatively snappy. Um, it depends on really what you're focusing on. Now if I focus out here, not so bad. I'm gonna focus in closer. It's really pretty snappy. It can get kind of jarring when you're jumping between one and the other, but it's not too bad. And the breathing, people talk about focused breathing. I really don't see, let me zoom in a little further here, guys. I know it's a little shaky, I apologize. But the focused breathing really is not there, like barely. So the focusing, relatively smooth. Uh, earlier, as I told you, I was having major problems with trying to get it to focus with on myself. When I was walking towards it, I had to take multiple takes, but I think I got into a good position where if I enlarge the focus area as wide as I possibly can, and I, pro I, I place myself in or the subject matter in that range, it pretty much focuses exactly where I need it to be, which is great. So focusing overall, pretty well done. I'm not too frustrated with it yet, but I'm sure 
I, I think I think because I've had a lot of practice so far with it, I think that's why I've gotten it to, to work fairly well. But again, it's it's it could be all user user ability at this point. But overall, I do like the focus. It's not bad. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. What are my final thoughts on this? The 50 to 150 lens is absolutely a fabulous lens, of course. You all knew that, especially all you Samsung lovers out there. The uh, NX Mini, fabulous combination with the adapter and the lens itself. Focusing is faster than I expected. I would say it's on par with probably, oh gosh, um, probably the, the NX300 maybe, maybe between the NX300 and maybe the NX3000, uh, right? That's roughly where the focusing ability is. With this lens, of course, it's a little faster with this particular combination. Do I think it's it's a pocketable combination? No. Is it a perfect travel combination, something you can backpack? I think it is, and I think that's where why I love this particular combination. Am I going to bring with me wherever I go? I think I will. I think it's going to be one that I'm going to bring with me uh, for the time being. I'm a little bit concerned, of course, if you put any stress on this particular mount with this lens, it might snap off. I don't want that to happen, but I don't think it will. I, I think if I, if I take care of it, and if you take care of it, if you happen to have one, then that's certainly something that's to your benefit. Um, the last few things I can think of, dynamic range is way better than I expected, especially for one inch sensor. Um, and the sharpness is beautiful. Crop factor again, 1.7, one point seven, one point seven. X or times the crop factor, which is awesome. Uh, overall, I'm in love, and hopefully this helped you guys make decisions as to if you want to continue to keep searching for this adapter or not. It took me probably two years to get this adapter. It took me forever, but I am personally glad that, it, that I found it and that I have it in my collection. So guys, if you like this video, click that like button, click that subscribe button as well. I appreciate it because I've got more NX videos coming very, very soon. Uh, I'm continuing to put these out as much as I can to show you my collection that I have and why I love each particular piece individually. So thank you for watching. Love you guys. See you the next time.